Gordy, let's talk about expectations of the Broncos. Mate, um, what is an acceptable finish for the people of Brisbane in 2020 for the Broncos? Used to be win grand finals or yep. it was a failure. So I'd say, um, and then it went to top four. You always had to finish in the top four. I think if they make the eight, it's a pass. Wow. I, so I, you, I, yeah, right. Well, I'm starting to feel that there's, you know, and I've watched Seabolt talk that they're trying to soften the blow that maybe they won't. You know, that, you know, they're young and they're still learning. Do, well, you, do you think they can make the top four, Gordy? Well, they have to, Matty. They've yeah. got the best facility. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they spend just as much, well, they have to spend the same amount of money as anybody else. They've got the best young kids coming through. But they, can they? Yeah, I think, look, I think there's a lot on Brody Croft. Like, I really do. But with Milford and the fullback and the hooker, yeah, absolutely. They've got enough talent to make the four. Absolutely they have. Yeah. That, that Absolutely, pack. and their outside backs. There's, mate, there's stars all over the park. You know, has for feeder. Do you think? I mean, there's, there's a lot of coaches under pressure. I mean, we talk about Mary under pressure. Yeah. But do you think the Brisbane club are the, is the team under the spotlight the most, under the most pressure this year? Uh, it certainly is up in Queensland, and yeah. you know, they're a big organisation. But you know, you hear the whispers that Seabrook goes, "Well, I've got five years to go, or four years to go, or whatever." So that's coming out. So I think every coach is under the pump, but. Yeah. Certainly, he's got to be under the pump. The way they went out of the finals last year, yeah. um, Brisbane have to play finals footy and, gotcha. you know, and win.